Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Monday. Monday means it is meal prep day. I have three incredible recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and a snack slash a sweet treat. Everything is WW friendly, clean eating, and so incredibly good. Our lunch meal prep is the second part of our meal prep last week. So remember we saved some chicken and some sauce to make our lunch for this week. Can't wait for that. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So if you are here for meal prep and you wanna see these three amazing recipes, stay tuned. this week I'm making a four flavor sheet pan pancake bake so this is going to be pancakes four different ways I am so excited about this recipe I'm going to pair this with some eggs for zero points so let me show you what's in this week's breakfast first you're going to need some pancake mix of your choice you can also make your own with flour and eggs I will link the original recipe on my website so that if you want to create your own pancake mix you can do that but I'm going to use this birch benders paleo I really like this it has some protein great ingredients I do pick this up at Costco you're also going to need some sweetener of your choice I have the Lakanto monk fruit I also have the Lakanto powdered sugar because you are going to need some powdered sugar also some brown sugar of course you guys know I love my sucre and gold I buy this off of the net Trition website I'll link net Trition down below for you guys it's the most affordable on that website and it's the best brown sugar alternative I like it even better than the Lakanto so sucre and gold for the brown sugar I'm going to be using this melt plant-based butter my jam is this all fruit huckleberry jam now you can sub out whatever jam you want but you may want to recalculate the points if your jam ends up being more than about 20 calories per serving that's what I have figured into the points of this recipe and then we're also going to need some ground cinnamon Lily's chocolate chips or chocolate chips of your choice a banana and some sliced strawberries so let's make some pancakes so the first thing we're going to do is make our batter. So in my bowl, I have two cups of the Birch Benders Paleo Pancake and Waffle Mix. To that, I'm going to add in some water until I have a lumpy batter. I do have two cups of water here. I'm not sure if I'll use it all. I want to make sure that my batter is the right consistency. So we want it to be a batter, but also be a little bit on the lumpy side. And you don't want to mix it too much. You just want to mix it until it's combined. Once you get your batter combined, we're going to go ahead and remove about two tablespoons into a little bowl here and set this aside. We're going to be using this a little bit down the road to add to some of our pancake bake. So about two tablespoons of the batter, and now we're ready to get this onto a sheet pan and into the oven. So go ahead and grab out a sheet pan. I went ahead and melted my two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to brush that on the base of my sheet pan we just want to make sure that our pancakes don't stick so do your best to get your butter all over the bottom of the sheet pan is the chocolate chip so I'm gonna go ahead and do this here I have four servings or 56 grams of Lily's chocolate chips and I'm just going to sprinkle those directly onto the batter now no fear if you get a little chocolate chip in with your strawberries it'll still taste really really good so I'm gonna go ahead and add all my chocolate chips to the chocolate chip side, we're gonna add one banana. Now it says to put it in like a herringbone pattern, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bananas on there. Not getting too fancy here. You wanna make sure that you get a little bit of banana in every bite of the chocolate chip portion of the pancake bake. The third section is gonna be like a brown sugar cinnamon. It sounds so good. So we're gonna take that reserved batter that we set aside from the original pancake mix. 
Give that a stir. To that, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of brown sugar, and this again is the Suprin Gold. So this is what's gonna give it like that really yummy, sugary, melty yumminess. And then we're gonna add in some cinnamon as well. And again, go ahead and do cinnamon to your liking. And this is going to make somewhat of a crumble, and we're actually just gonna drop this on top of that third section of the pancake mix. So now we're gonna take that cinnamon mix, and we're just going to drop it on to the pancake and then we're going to use our toothpick again and kind of swirl it in and it's going to make a cinnamon swirl pancake this should be so good you guys i love cinnamon anything and then the mixture with that brown sugar when it cooks again it's just going to caramelize and be really really good so add your cinnamon mix and then again toothpick and we're just going to kind of swirl that into our batter to make that pretty cinnamon swirl look now the final section is just to be plain, but I think I'm going to take some of these blueberries that I have in my fridge and I'm just gonna drop some blueberries on that fourth side. Now you could just leave it plain or you could add whatever topping you want. Just make sure whatever topping you're adding is zero points unless you wanna refigure the points of the pancakes because I did not account for any additional pointed toppings. So I'm gonna use up the rest of these blueberries here and then we're ready to get this in the oven at 400 150 degrees until our pancakes are cooked completely through all right so here is what it looks like before it goes into the oven this looks absolutely delicious it is out of the oven doesn't this look so good it smells amazing look at those bananas they're all crystallized with that sugar i'm really glad i added the blueberries i think that looks really good and the last step is once it cools a little bit on this section here where we did the cinnamon and sugar i did mix some of the lakanto powdered sugar with a little bit of water and we're going to drizzle that over the top and make a glaze but we do want our pancake bake to be completely cooled first so this looks so good once this is cooled i'll be back to give you guys the smart points the servings and we'll go over exactly what we're having for breakfast so I went ahead and drizzled that glaze over the top. This looks so good. This actually makes six servings total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into three equal sections. And that way each day I'm getting more than one kind of pancake. And each day I'll maybe have a different kind. So it should be super good. And then I will go ahead and cut it right down the middle. And then that way... Some days I'll have all one kind, some days I'll get a little mixture of both, and then we're gonna go ahead and just take a spatula here, and I'm going to put this sixth piece of the pancake bake here into my meal prep container, and then I think I'm going to pair that with a hard-boiled egg, and that will be my breakfast. And we can top this with some maple syrup. You could really do whatever you wanted for toppings, but this looks incredible. So let me get these in my meal prep containers with the eggs, and then I'll be back to give you our smart points. And here is breakfast. This looks so good. I'm so excited about this. What I'm going to do is add one teaspoon of organic maple syrup and that will add an additional smart point. But I like a little bit of syrup on there. So I kind of want to show you guys what these look like. So depending on how I cut the square, some days I might have two different kinds like I do here. Other days it may be one complete kind, just kind of depended on how it worked out. And then I went ahead and popped in a hard boiled egg as well for zero points. So how this pancake bake breaks down is it is seven smart points per serving on all plans with the chocolate chip. So on this day, it's going to actually cost me seven points because that entire thing is chocolate chips. All of the rest of the flavors, so the blueberry, the strawberry, even this one with just a little bit of the chocolate chip, the cinnamon swirl, and the jam and strawberries. These are six smart points per serving and 206 calories per serving without the egg and the syrup. So for me, my breakfast is going to be anywhere from eight or seven points just depending on what pancake section I choose with my maple syrup and my hard boiled egg. So you can't beat it. This looks really good. It's a very well-rounded breakfast. You get a little bit of pop of protein in the pancake mix and with that hard boiled egg. So this is breakfast. <laughs> For 
lunches this week, we're making pineapple chicken stir fry. Now this is the second part of our lunch prep last week, that orange chicken bowl, which by the way was so delicious. We actually ended up reserving a couple pieces of chicken and some of the sauce to make this week's lunch. So that was really fun to kind of have a two for one with the recipe. So let me show you what's in our pineapple chicken stir fry. First, you're going to need a pineapple, of course. You could use canned, but I'm gonna go ahead and use fresh and whatever's left, we'll just have it for snacking. Here are the two chicken breasts that I reserved from last week. I just popped them in my freezer and took them out this morning so that they would de-thaw. And then also I pulled out the rest of the orange sauce. So this is the sauce we reserved from last week. So that was what was part of the orange chicken bowl that we're gonna use in this stir fry. You're also going to need some snow peas, a red bell pepper, some almonds. I'm gonna be using these slivered almonds from Nutstop. I do have 10% off and free shipping from Nutstop. I'll make sure that I put that code here on the screen and link this down below for you guys. It's not an affiliate link. It's just 10% off and free shipping for you. This is such a great company. I buy all of my nuts off their website. It's so affordable. So we're gonna be using some of those slivered almonds. The recipe actually called for Napa cabbage. I couldn't find any, so I have this purple cabbage in my fridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I honestly don't know the difference between Napa and purple, so let me know down in the comments if you do, but I think this is going to work just fine. We're also going to need some fresh cilantro and some green onions, so let's get started on lunch. So the first step is a lot of cutting. We're gonna go ahead and chop up two green onions. I'm just going to set those aside here in this little bowl. We're going to chop our bell pepper and our snow peas, and I'm gonna go ahead and put those into a larger bowl. We're gonna do our cilantro as well, and our pineapple, we're gonna cut that up into this bowl. So let's start chopping so we can start making some chicken pineapple stir fry. Yeah. So in my pan here, I have some avocado oil spray. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chopped bell pepper, snow peas, and I'm gonna add in my green onion. You can also put them on top raw, but I'm gonna go ahead and add them in. And then I'm also going to add in about half this bag of cabbage, and we're gonna let this cook down for about five minutes. After your veggies have been cooking for about five minutes, I went ahead and just chopped up that leftover chicken from last week's meal prep, so we're gonna add that. We're also going to add in the sauce that was left over, and lastly, our pineapple. So we're gonna add all of that, and then we're gonna give this a stir, get it nice and combined, and let this cook for just a few minutes just to warm through the chicken and the pineapple, and you guys, it's done. Literally, that's about it. So I'll be back to show you the completed chicken pineapple stir fry mix here and then I'll tell you guys how I'm gonna prepare it for the week. All right, and there it is. Doesn't that look so good? I'm actually glad I used the purple cabbage. I think it's actually really, really pretty. Before I put this into bowls, I went ahead and grabbed out my reusable little dressing or storage containers. And into that, I'm going to divide out my fresh cilantro. And that way I can keep my cilantro and my almonds separate and add it to the top once I warm it up in the microwave. Because I don't know that it would be very good to have the warmed up in the microwave cilantro. I think I I'd rather put it on there fresh once it is warmed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my cilantro and then we are going to add in our almonds. So now you can toast these if you want. I decided not to, but this is one quarter of a cup. So basically it's about a tablespoon per bowl of the almonds. And we're gonna go ahead and just add that right on top of the cilantro. And then we'll pop a lid on this and this will just go in our bowl. And that way we can remove this when we go to warm up the actual stir fry and then top it with these almonds and cilantro once it's nice and warmed up. But this looks so good. 
So I have my little containers all ready to go. And this whole pan makes four servings. So what I'm going to do is put this here in my meal prep bowl and I'm just going to divide it as evenly as I can among four servings. And then I'm probably going to pair mine with some of the Trader Joe's brown rice. I'll show you guys what that looks like. I just buy the kind that you warm up in the microwave, the organic brown rice. It cooks in three minutes. It's so good. I will probably add two or three points worth of the brown rice to my bowls when I go to eat them. But the basis of my bowl is this delicious pineapple and chicken stir fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll get the other two bowls filled up and I'll be back to show you lunch and give you the smart points. All right, so here is the completed lunch. I left the lid off of that so you can see exactly what the toppings look like that we'll add to our bowl. This is a lot. I mean, this bowl is halfway full with the chicken and pineapple stir fry. This is the rice that I'm planning on using. It's just that microwavable rice from Trader Joe's. It's organic in the freezer section, brown rice. I will probably do two or three points worth, just kind of depending on how hungry I am. Because again, this is a lot in the bowl just without the rice. So let's go over the smart points. So if this is six smart points on both the blue and purple plan, and that does not count the rice, that is just the the actual chicken and pineapple stir fry. It is eight smart points on the green plan because you have to account for chicken. And then again, you would add points for the rice. This bowl is a total of 282 calories without rice. So you would add the additional calories of whatever rice you chose. So this is going to be my lunch. And since I'm on the blue plan, this is going to be six smart points before I add in my rice. <laughs> this week or a sweet treat I'm going to be making blueberry muffin bread so we're gonna pair muffins and bread and make some absolutely delicious low point treats with blueberry muffin bread so let me show you what's in our recipe First, you're going to need some sugar alternative of your choice I'm going to be using the monk fruit some flour this is just the whole wheat flour from thrive the organic thrive whole wheat flour you'll need some low fat milk one or two percent baking powder eggs, butter. I'm going to be using the milk plant-based butter. You'll need either fresh or frozen blueberries, whatever your preference is. I'm going to use fresh because that's what I have on hand. And lastly, you'll need some vanilla extract. So let's make this deliciousness. So to start on our bread, the first thing we're going to do is take one cup of sugar or the monk fruit sweetener, and we're going to go ahead and add in six tablespoons of butter. I just measured that out on my food scale, and then we're just going to mix this until it is creamed. You can use a hand mixer if that's easier for you, but my butter is pretty soft, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix it together with my spoon until it's fully incorporated. Once you get that creamed together, we're going to go ahead and add in two eggs and one cup of milk. Now you could use almond milk or a milk alternative if you would like. It doesn't really matter, honestly, in this recipe. I just use regular milk because that's what I had on hand and those are the points that I had accounted for. So you may be able to lower the points a little bit using almond milk. You would just wanna put this recipe into your recipe builder to see if it does indeed lower the points. And then to this, I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna give that another quick stir just to make sure everything's combined, and then we'll be ready to add in our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add in two cups of our flour, and we're also going to add in two teaspoons of baking soda, and that's going to help it rise. And then we're gonna mix this together until everything is combined, and then we'll gently fold in those fresh or frozen blueberries right before this goes into the loaf pan. And the last step is about two cups of blueberries. I'm not really gonna measure. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them in. But you want about two cups of fresh or frozen blueberries. And then we're just gently going to stir these in. So there we go. And then take your spoon and just fold them in because you don't wanna squish the blueberries, but you wanna make sure that they do get mixed in with the batter. And the last step is to take our greased bread pan here. I just used this avocado oil spray and we're gonna go ahead and add in our batter. And then this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 60 to 75 minutes or until we can insert our toothpick and it comes out clean. The blueberry muffin loaf is out of the oven. You guys, this looks incredible. I cannot wait for this. Look at how 
delicious. So we're going to let it fully cool before we cut it into the servings. So I'll be back to show you the size of the slice and give you all of the smart points. All right, we are nice and cooled and sliced into 12 equal servings. You guys look at this blueberry goodness. It is packed with blueberries. It's so tender. Oh, I'm so incredibly excited for this. How great would this be with a little bit of butter or warmed up for breakfast with some eggs and some fruit? So excited. You can have one twelfth or one entire slice. And these are good size slices for four smart points. And that's four smart points on all plans. And I just want you to look again at this ooey gooey blueberryness. Oh, you guys must make this recipe. So here are my snacks for the week. So of course I have my Built Bar. I do have a peanut butter one, the Nut Base Bars, with the exception of this coconut almond. They're four smart points, but they pack 20 grams of protein, seven fiber and seven fat. So they keep you nice and full. I will generally use the four point bar if I need it to last me to a workout or through a workout or for several hours at the beginning or the end of the day, because these ones I find keep me a little bit more full than the three point bar. And all of the other built bars are three points, including the coconut almond, which tastes just like an almond joy. And it still has 18 grams of protein, seven fiber, and five fat. So again, it does keep you full. I just will use the four point bars if I really need to sustain my hunger for a long period of time. I find that they just work a little bit better. I do have 10% off and free shipping for built bar. I'll put my code here on the screen. If you are new to built bar, check down in the description box because there is a special link just for you that will get you $10 off your first order, making the bars less than a dollar a piece. You guys know these are my go-to. I love them. So definitely get Built Bar. It's seriously a game changer on WW. And you also know I love my Good Culture Cottage Cheese. So I've been having this for a snack. Sometimes I'll put fruit on it, sometimes just some pepper, or I'll just have it by itself, maybe dip crackers in it, but I like to have it for a good punch of protein midday. Speaking of protein, I told you guys that I was going to try a new brand of protein powder. Well, I finally got it in. I actually have the vanilla and the chocolate, and I have a sample pack of the coconut, which I'm going to try in Wednesday's video, so stay tuned for that. But this is the Live Well Plant Protein. It has 16 grams of amino acids, 17 grams of complete protein, and only two grams of natural sugar, free from GMO, soy, gluten and dairy it's organic and you guys for plant protein this is amazing this does not have that gritty texture that you get from plant protein in my opinion this probably is one of my favorite proteins this and the collagen from primal kitchen i mean this protein is so so good so here is kind of some information you've got your nutritional information i believe it's one point per scoop which is amazing and then your ingredients are right here so fantastic ingredients you guys like literal perfect ingredients and what i love about this protein is it does not have the typical plant-based protein texture and taste it's so incredibly good i will put my discount code here on the screen for you guys again i have the vanilla and the chocolate you'll be seeing these in tons of recipes you could bake with these and just a much cleaner protein choice that tastes really delicious and incredible on smart points one smart point per scoop so i'm going to be using this in my smoothies and protein shakes for the week definitely check out live well you guys definitely check it out and stay tuned on Wednesday for a review on the coconut protein powder. So those are my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Meal Prep. I told you these three recipes are stellar. They are all so incredibly good and filling whole clean food, which makes our bodies happy. They are point friendly. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to make every single one of them. All these recipes are on my website. The link to join my Facebook group and my website and my discount codes and links to my favorite things are all down in the description box. So make sure you're checking that out, heading over to my website so you can recreate these recipes for yourself. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'd love it if you join my YouTube friends and family and hit that little subscribe button button and that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and Mondays are always meal prep Monday. So make sure you're subscribed 
and your bell notification is turned on. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love meal prep and you're gonna make some of these recipes for your family. And thank you guys so much again, as always, for stopping by and checking out today's video. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.